I seen you was right there. I'm trying to see where you was at when you shot that video. What that nigga name was? Was y'all on Ricky B Street? What street y'all was on when y'all shot that video? What what song it was? It was you and the nigga. It probably if if I, I I got two songs with two features. I got one on with a, a um money train who on the same label as me. Then I got one at one with my little home, but um damn, I think we was like at a stove. Damn. What's what's, yeah, the, but, what's, uh, what's, the, what's the label name? Oh, the label I'm up on this called Category Five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, it's a nigga named Darren, I think. That that probably what well, it, it probably what that pressure song. But like most of my vi- most of my videos, I really be like in the neighborhood, like at different spots in my neighborhood. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, like yeah. I seen that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was on there talking about just some real grown-up ass shit, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, it, and that yeah. let me know that you had already been through some shit. Some shit that you can't just, some shit a motherfucker just can't say from living through no motherfucker. Some shit you got to live yourself. So I could just tell. Like, yeah. So if, if you could, just go go through the song Pressure and just try to, can you remember that verse on that song? Pressure, pressure. I think, it's, yeah, I think man, I'm on that like. If you don't remember that verse, hold, we got to hold up on it. What song do you know for sure? Because I want you to break down one of your um, verses. I know when I, first, when I first got out, I hit him with that um, the song called Back in the Day. That um, I, I can take it back. That's one of my favorite ones. That was like the that, first video that, I dropped when I got out. It's like, I can back. take it back. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember I seen that video too, yeah. like that, and you were just shouting out shit that niggas, you would yeah. not, you have to be there to know what the fuck a motherfucker talking about. Exactly. Like, like you had to be there, or you had to be from this spot. Mm-hmm. At the you had to be from here to actually know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And if y'all ain't heard that song, make sure y'all go to YouTube, go to Pirate K, Pirate Gay Indo, and check out Take Them Back. That's a real ass song, whatever like that. Just break down a couple of verses on that motherfucker and let them know how you were coming on there. I was like, um, I think one of them, I was like, I can take you back when we were sleeping with the roach and rats. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's for real. Like, dude, yeah, that's for real, man. I can take you back. Oh, um, my dad is still smoking crack. All mm. that, like, all that stuff still going on right now. Mmm. Keep going. I can, yeah, I can take him back when we were living in the shack. Used to hide the shit for mama. Used to make the bando jump. You know what I'm saying? When I first started selling drugs, I was at this, I was at this abandoned trap house. Like, like white right the street, two houses from my mama. And she, like, when she used to go in the house, I used to come back down. She, it, it took her a couple months, even though I was selling drugs. Yeah. How yeah. old was you? Uh, I, probably, I probably started when I was, like, 16, but it got real serious, probably 17, 18. And, like, what grade you was in? Hey, I'm, I think I started like in the, the 10th grade. By the time I made it to 11th grade, school wasn't even fun to me no more. It's sad to say because I was just, I really wanted to. I go to school probably the first, second block, and it gets bored, and I leave and back to the block I went. And like, what school you like? So, so your, you, so your, your house was close to your. My, my school, like, like right around the corner. I was going to Wilson High School. Like, I ain't have to never hit the cut and walk home. Damn. So you're just leaving school, going straight back home. Going straight back home, standing right on the block, like standing right there. And that was tenth grade. Tenth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, eleventh grade when I dropped that. Mm. What your mama say about that? My mama, it, it really, you know, she she said whatever, whatever mama would say. You feel me? But it's really nothing she could do because by that time I had considered myself grown. Mm. You know, it really wasn't that, yeah, she did, she did, and said well, whatever mama do, but it was really nothing she could have did. Because you were going to go your way. I was going to go my own way regardless. No matter what I seen, I, I, I was going to go my own way. So, I, I want to talk about the OGs, too. Like, was there any older people that was, like, coaching you to do one thing or the other, or it was just really your own decision? She about to, yeah, like, if she, why, why I live in and how I was growing up, when you walk outside, drugs, 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 drugs. And I'm, I'm I'm watching so many, I'm seeing my cousins too, I'm watching so many people just make money, like real money. 
And then some other stuff that I want to see. My mom got to let them cheer My mom couldn't afford. Whoa, hold on, give me hold on, hold on, hold on. You, 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 you did a phrase bad there. Hold on, hold on. You said your mom got how many kids? My mom got 11 kids. I'm the fourth Shit. one. Okay. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And we living in a, we were living in, well, the house, the house really a two bedroom house. But Damn. It's like another little spot, another little spot she made, a, a another little room. But it was really like three small rooms. And it's 11 kids, you know what I'm saying? And how old was the oldest? My oldest sister, I think she's 30. I think she's 30 right now. Okay. And so you in this house, whatever like that. So your mom taking care of the other kids, so she couldn't really watch you that well. And that's how you got into the street like that. Yeah, like the block that I'm from, it's like this is it's an ongoing block. Like this, like it's one of the hardest rocking blocks in the whole neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? So when I walk out my front door, that's just what it is right there. Yeah, it ain't nothing to make a hundred dollars in five minutes. Mm. It wasn't nothing to make, it, it, that, that's just how it was. So you did. So it was just the temptation was right there in your face. You didn't have to go nowhere else to see what it was. You was already in it. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't have to go nowhere else. Like all the hard stuff folks rap about and all that, I think that stuff hand first. I still see it hand first. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. So I'm gonna go a little bit, a little bit off, 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 off the path here, and I'm, I'm trying to see. So if, cause we got listeners right now that's probably going through that same thing. Like now that you, cause the show, the name of this show was in hindsight. So now looking back on it. How do you feel like you could have changed that? Do you feel like it was a trap put on you? Like, what you thinking? Like, it, like what, what could somebody do to, yeah, to avoid yeah, that? I, I could have went, went a different way. Because like I said, I can't, I can't say I'm a product of my environment because I got like two, oh, I got a couple of my sisters, like they doing real good. Like I got a couple of my sisters who don't affiliate with, you feel me? Like some of my siblings, like we totally different. They they from the streets. They grew up out real, but they don't affiliate with this life. Period. You feel me? It was yeah. a choice that I made. Yeah. But if I could go back, if I can go back, I'll finish school and I'll go to college or you know what I'm saying something like that. If I could turn back, I I will do it different. So so let, let's so this this is what I like to do on the show. If you could go back and talk to yourself for one day, and you could give yourself one message. What age would you go back? Like, what age would you be? Like, do you, was it a day that you could remember back in your past that you actually made the decision to go the route you go? Or was it just like a gradual thing? If you can go back in the past, what would you tell yourself and what day would it be on? Oh, let me see. I know I, I, I always had like a hustler mindset. Run, I used to go to the store, like Walmart and steal MP3 players and go to school and sell 15 of them at a time. I always had a hustler mindset, but by yeah. that, by the dope, let me, I think, I think one day, I think I had like $20 to my name. I had $20. And it was, it's this older guy, I ain't gonna say his name, but this older guy. And I, I, I walked outside my house and I went right next door. And I was like, man, serve me two for a 20. And he served me the two for the point. That mean I was gonna make like forty dollars off of it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And a sale, while a sale walked right up with forty dollars. He he came for the older dude, but the older dude he like you catch him. And when he let me catch him, and I made the forty dollars that fast, and I spent it back to him. It was just it, it was no turning back from that because I seen how fast that it was, like how fast it was to make the money. Hmm. Hmm. But that. That'll that, be a day right there. Though. I can't. I can't tell you what day it was. I really don't even yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but that, I but, probably see, about that, seventeen, but that important. would have been a day right there. That's important because we got a lot of. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Motherfuckers don't break it down like this. Motherfuckers don't say what's going on and how we getting trapped into this shit. Because it's all for the same reason. Because just like that day was the day that you chose to go down that road. That's when. You were headed for prison at that point in time. You was headed for prison. Yeah. From that point, you were going right there. Right then and now. So right then and now. It say because at that point in time, if that wouldn't have took place like that, you would have been. You would have had to focus your mind on something else that would have been more productive to your future. But because yeah. it went down like that.